Wow, I haven't done a voice message since May 19th. What? June was a day full of downloads, I tell you. Full, I mean, June was a month full of downloads and I didn't record a single one. It's because of the storage thing. I'm like, oh, I don't have enough storage. Like, oh my gosh, that's hindering a lot because I'm a whole ass new person. I'm a whole ass new person from who I was in May, who I was in even June, who I was in April. Oh my goodness, way different than who I was in March, way different than who I was in January, and way different than who I was in February like I feel like month to month this year I have been transforming I'm a whole transformer like I'm a whole ass it's actually it's so cool building these they're kind of like armors just armors of knowledge and acceptance and alignment within soul but it's been really cool building this and watching it be built in the polar light of things being built out of ego and out of pain and out of spite you know those armors you build when something happens to you and you're like that's never gonna happen to me again i am going to be this way when it happens to me next (laughs) oh my goodness so that's that's definitely ego that's that's that protection masculine that's like hey i'm gonna protect this yeah and and there's some greatness that can be built with that for sure for sure the ego knows how to protect if there's one thing an ego is a master of (laughs) for real i love my ego is just epic built something really great um so being on the the polar side of building something out of acceptance love vision being seen being understood being acknowledged by self (laughs) by myself to look at something within me that may be dark that may be hard to look at that may have previously been pushed down or avoided because I don't want to think about that right now but the time that I actually do take a time aside to think about it it's it's such a beautiful thing it's such a validating thing it's such an eye-opening thing um i'm definitely to the point where i'm able to observe my call outs and things as if um like ego based i'm not like oh my gosh i can't believe i'm pointing that out about myself i'm like oh interesting like that's really my reaction to it um it's just I understand like it's a very high level of the situation but I do think that when I convey shadow work sometimes it can seem like it's just this easy simple thing (laughs) Um, and I understand deeply that it's not I understand that it can be hard sometimes and you can be down on yourself and and truly go through some darkness within a time of deriving darkness from from the soul or just things that you don't like looking at yourself about i understand (laughs) my thing is just that i've mastered self-love and I could never be down on myself about really anything. I mean, I can be tough. I can give myself some tough love, but never in my life am I putting myself down or or, um, scolding myself for doing something a certain way or just being resentful about myself. Or I just do not have those traits. Thankfully, my goodness. And also, this is something where I understand that people go through this. People go through these kind of self-hatred waves. And honestly, I... So I was going through life truly 
just thinking that people were like me, you know, just like anyone else. Of course, I knew there were different mindsets, but I did not know that self-love, like unconditional self-love, like pretty much upon birth is, um, whoa, is that rare? Is that rare, guys? A lot of people don't love themselves. And I know it's due to conditioning and I know it's due to uh, things that they've been told or things that they've allowed themselves to be told, things that they allowed themselves to tell themselves, things that they allowed within their lives because they didn't understand self-boundaries and they didn't understand their worth and they didn't have any kind of discipline in place for when those self-worth and self-boundaries and self-judgments show up. Hearing something negative from oneself to be in the middle of something and then have your self voice tell you you can't do it like on such a deep level it just it's gutting it it kills me a little bit guys to actualize and know that people are suffering in mass from their thoughts from their perception of themselves for the things they allow for the self-worth lacks the self-judgment lacks the self-confident lacks the lack of looking within self at all like in such a big level it really hurts it hurts my heart It hurts my heart, guys. Hurts, hurts. So I am here to to just turn it around, help people love themselves, help people see how beautiful they truly are. Gosh, just like being here today at the stage in life that you are in today, what, what a journey it's been and you are still here. Like, you are that powerful. You are that magical. You are that amazing. Ugh. And it just kills me a little bit. A little bit. Because I do have self-boundaries and I don't allow things to just kill me. <laughs> but it just kills me to... To think that that one would go on like this. Honestly. That one would go on in this lack of self-love, lack of self-confidence, lack of truly looking at the beauty of who you are as a beautiful soul. I I can't have it. (laughs) I can't have it. Stick around. You're going to love yourself very soon when you're around me. It's so funny. So I'm speaking in a very like self-aware stage, but I didn't really realize there was a time where I didn't really realize that I was just pumping self-love into people like in such a way. It is really just a like muscle thing. Like I just do it in flow. I compliment people. I let them know that they are they're powerful, they're wonderful. And so I I was talking to someone well people in different instances and they're just like <laughs> giving me feedback on myself. <laughs> oh, interesting. But just telling me that I I boost them up and I make them feel good about themselves and and that they feel just more confident by being around me. I'm like, "Oh my gosh, I love that." <laughs> I love that for both of us. That's just the most beautiful thing. And I completely approve this lifestyle. So thank you for building this up until this point. My goodness. Thank you for all of my guidance. Thank you for all of the hard work and the the ego work that I've done. I've truly looked outward and I found my unconditional love for human beings in the same way that I can find unconditional love in nature. I love nature so much. I am that tree hugger. I'm hugging the tree, okay? And so, I mean, even over... Okay, we're not going to get deep into that. 
but it's been a journey of of working on unconditional self love or not self love human love all the humans everyone else besides myself love everyone else how to how to turn this powerful love for myself outwards into everybody else and it's just so easy it's so easy because because I already do it just by existing it's the coolest thing it's the coolest thing guys I just want to say guys so much and I know that it's just it's not the best word but it's such the best word for the time that I want to just gather you all in this thought (laughs) what do I say like gang um I was literally about to say guys again and then also man, I say man a lot. Man, what is this? <laughs> Anywho, I hope you've enjoyed this. I really had to get that thought out. Unconditional self-love is next level, next level. So I, I, I planted the seed for this epiphany kind of earlier when I was reading about the 25th gene key, because that's one of my gene keys. And I was reading about the 25th Gene Key, and it's literally about universal love, unconditional love, deep, deep love, and the foundation being self, the foundation of <laughs> of self-love. And I'm just like, are you serious? I just wrote an online course and a book about this. And it's the, the alignment is just next level powerful, so... I'm so grateful. What is this? What is that crawling on me? Get off of me, though. Get off. Get off. That looked like a little... It looks like... It looked like a bug. But a little octopus crawling up my leg. Like a little octopus with like a bunch of legs. It was kind of super cute. But then I was like, I don't want to get bit. And so I knocked him off. (laughs) So that's my life. Have a beautiful day, you beautiful, powerful soul. I love you so, so much. And I hope you understand how powerful and lovable you are.